Hey guys, it's Candy and I'm here with the House Mouse collab with Gracie21 and this time our um, theme was, I believe it was fruit or blueberries, I'm not sure. Um, I don't have it right in front of me. And um, So I used this little image um, that I got at, through an eBay haul and I decided to color up my images this time with colored pencils. So the first image I used, or first what I did is I colored up with this one. You can kind of see I did just a little blue in the background and just kind of played around with the berries um, and darkened it up. And then I did another one using um, some new pencils that I got um, at Hobby Lobby when they were on clearance. And um, they weren't quite as vibrant as the generic ones that I got at Hobby Lobby. So I think I like those better and in a few minutes I'll show you a haul that I got at a estate sale that I found um, some Prima colored um, pencils but so this is my image for this time around I just made it a card um, used a I think I've used this almost exact um, card background before with a house mouse stamp I just kind of fall back to using the stitch die putting it in this fancy frame on top of a card front. So I um, hope you guys like this and in a minute I'm going to bring you to a video of me coloring up an image and let you guys know if or let me know if you guys like that kind of thing. Um, I just feel like some of my videos are pretty short so I tried to make it go a little bit longer. So um, please go over and check everyone below in the house mouse club there are some amazing crafters who do some awesome things with these little house mouse images and go over and check gracie out and um give her some love there's just like i say an amazing group of gals crafting so hope you guys enjoy this coloring section and um hope you guys are all having a wonderful day thanks so much for watching okay guys i'm back and here is a find that i found at a yard sale and it was $15 and I checked at Hobby Lobby and it's like 120 so of course you could use your 40% off coupon. So I got this at a sale and look, it doesn't even look like they've ever used any of these pencils. So I don't know how they have them divided up, but isn't that cool? So I'm gonna pull these out and like I said before, I am going to color up a image real quick uh, to kind of show you how I color and Prisma colors are new to me so I don't know Let's see if I can bring this down a little bit this is my first time coloring in front of you guys so I am not I've, like I say I've never used these before so I'm not sure um, exactly what I'm doing but I'll just kind of show you what how I go about things so I usually um, make my guys um, brown but I'm going to um, start with their their little face here and this is for the house mouse challenge and just color up and it goes on pretty smooth hopefully you guys can see that well um, I've got my son's um, phone holder that I'm using for a stand here so <laughs> hopefully you can see I'm just using my cell phone to videotape hopefully I'm in frame here and I just I don't I'm not a great color um, I haven't taken any classes or anything I'd love to take some classes um, but I, I love doing it I just love bringing flat 2d images to life with um, a little bit of color so I'm going to grab and I don't know if these pencils have um, I don't know if that'll focus on their um, numbers or how they're oh they do so hopefully you can see that got that number so let's focus back in on this little guy I am not savvy with this so um, like I say this is the first time I've used the Prisma colors I, I found another set at a yard sale and gave them away um, just um, 
as a gift um, for watching my videos. Um, and at the time, I didn't think I'd really use colored pencils, but I do like how they've how they turn out with colored pencils. I have a little pink in here. And I used to be freakish about everything being super in the lines and super precise. And I've kind of let that go a little bit. And then I kind of like to color their bellies up a little bit before I put in the browns. Um, and this has a ton of different shades of brown. So I think I'm going to pull the... It says PC... 941 and 943 they're the two browns hopefully you guys can see that so I usually start with the lighter color I don't know why I just do and I know I've watched some ladies coloring um, here on YouTube and I've learned a ton just by watching um, so I'll try to start making a list of people I watch who are really good at it um, there's some amazing Copic coloring ladies um, that I've learned a ton from. Um, but there's a few who do um, colored pencils too. Um, yeah, these seem to work nice. I wouldn't say they're my favorite, but I heard they're really smooth when you um, use a colorless blender, which I have. I don't have one of those yet. So I'm going to try to invest in one. This lady that I bought this from at the yard sale said, if you get a colorless blender, when you smooth these out, it almost looks like you did paint. So I thought that'd be worth worth investing in a pen color blender to see how it worked. And I think because this is a baby, I might add a little pink to its cheeks. Just a little bit. Kind of rosy those cheeks up a little bit. Hopefully this isn't bouncing too much for you. <laughs> like I say, this is the first time I've tried filming while I'm coloring, other than uh, a tutorial I did one time. And that was crazy. It, I had my phone stacked up on books. <laughs> it, was, it worked, but it was, <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> so just do little highlights here and there, scribbles. And I notice my phone is um, wobbling a little bit on the table, so this might not be the the best way to color. <laughs> okay, put those two back. I think I'm gonna make it um, a purple blanket, just so it's kind of unisex. So if I make a baby card, I can use either. Oops, sorry for bouncing, you guys. Hopefully that's better. Okay, so I'm gonna use the. And I love the house mouth stamps because they've got so many dots in here. So that really kind of helps you sh do the darker portions. So it's kind of like already shaded for you. It kind of tells you where to put the dark image here. And if you guys like this, I can, I can try doing more coloring videos. Um, like I say, I'm not an expert. I just kind of wing it <laughs> with kind of whatever looks good at the time. Ah! Making a mess over here. We'll just leave that for now. <laughs> and I'm going to go go light. If you go light handed when you're and then go a little darker in the darker sections, a little stronger push. I find that I usually get a pretty good results. But it really, I think for coloring, you just really have to play, and see what you like, and just practice, practice, practice. Um, but I've been coloring since I was tiny. <laughs> When I was uh, in kindergarten, I just loved paint and color, and uh, me and one of my little friends got loose behind where she had all her paints, and we were splattering paints everywhere, and we got in a little bit of trouble, but afterwards she told my mom how she uh, thought that someday I'd be an artist. 
<laughs> but she, I got in trouble for not behaving. It's so funny. I can remember that clear as day. She loved the picture we created, but we got in trouble. <laughs> so, and I'm going to try something here in the highlighted places. Um, someone said you can erase colored pencils, and I have not tried that, so let's see if that works. Give it a little highlight in the high tops. A little bit. Kind of smooths it out, I think. Can you guys see that? Hopefully, still in frame here. So, and then I did a simple image so that you guys wouldn't have to listen to me blather on too long. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use a little gray down here under the blanket, and that will be it. Yeah. You know, I don't know that I would pay the big money for Prismas, but they seem to color well. I sure wouldn't pay $120 for this pack. Um, but then again, I'm just kind of getting used to it. I'll have to do a comparison of the different pencils that I use, because I have some just generic pencils from uh, Hobby Lobby that I used on the images earlier, and... Um, got some Crayola ones that work well. I did, um, I've tried it with the Gamasol. <sighs> okay, can you guys see her? So that's my little colored image. Hopefully you like that. And let me know if you guys want me to continue to color and show you how I do it. But um, that is my coloring. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys go check out all the other crafters. Um, there will be links below. Um, and see some of the wonderful house mouse uh, creations they've done. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.